cooking oil van spoiled my, the beginning of my ride. No, it didn't spoil anything. It just blew up the old traditional uh, approach to that weird sculptory thing. Oh, I have been up two hours already. <laughs> and the, the sun is just poking its head up. And I've written a column about riding to school. Wow, that's... I don't know if that light was meant to be like emergency, emergency, but he's not in a rush, but it was really like, it gave me a bit of a fit. Anyway, um, I just saw a new sculpture. Have a look at this. Oh, what's going on, Rob? Are you gonna go a different way? Yes, yes I am. I ride past here every day and I've never looked at that building. Anyway. I had no idea it was called Locomotive Street. I, anyway, wow. One right turn rather than a left turn and look what happens. Wow, I, I might go back, you know. Yeah, all, it's all different. Anyway, oh, what was I saying? School? Yeah, I did a column about riding to school. Um, my eldest is gonna ride his bike to school today. He said, Dad, can I? I said, sure. Um, can we map out a route that's safe? I said, yes. I said, are you gonna take advantage of the bike paths? He said, yes. And there's all these new bike paths around Sydney, which you may have noticed if you follow me on videos on YouTube, because I, I highlight many of them. That's my usual approach. And then, that's a bit topical. That's a positive sign of the times, isn't it? More instructions for bike riders and, um, and some consideration for cyclists in Sydney. Yeah, see, so, there are good intentions, trust me. I have no idea what's behind that blue wall. It just popped up once, not long after they built this beautiful footpath that I'm about, or bike path or share path that I'm about to go on. And see that? Pedestrians, bike riders, we're all like cohabitating. And now I'm gonna go cohabitate with motorists, so I'll get off the camera, bye-bye. I'm so excited about my new approach to the city that um, this is the third day in a row that I've gone north and the third day in a row that I've gone a slight deviation on a traditional theme and it's basically allowing me to see the sights of Sydney or the Sydney that has emerged from lockdown. Anyway, I've showed these buildings, now i show it from a different angle. While also demonstrating that the blue sky that was sort of prevalent yesterday is, has abated. And so, I was really optimistic that I'd have a nice sort of pinky glow to the morning, but the cloud just got too strong and it just can't, the sun can't really come up underneath it and make it all glamorous and beautiful. And I, I'm not able to touch that button because it says don't touch the button. Oh, there we go. See that? There's a sign that I'm about to go again. <laughs> To 
be clear I'm allowed to be here. In case you're wondering, wow. It is capturing my attention. Now, there's a bike lane there, a bike lane there. And I think it's the same thing, but anyway, I'll take that one. And then, then you just gotta pluck your way around. You've gotta figure it out where you're meant to go. Motorist just idling along. He might be driving a Skoda, but he's got no fucking idea. Fucking hell. Pardon me, I don't mean to swear. I won't swear anymore. I've, I've decided to not do that anymore. Um, so he just did a U-E, he turned left without indicating, he turned, and then he did a U-turn without indicating, and I was just meant to use telepathy to get around him, which I did. So, aren't I clever, huh? Um, yeah, share path, did that before, do it again. Okay, tu comprends? Okay, uh, and now again, hmm, deliver you onto a road. Oh, bicycle's accepted, stuff it, let's do it a different way. Like, three days in a row, entirely different approach. Bit of gravel, check it out. Total anarchy, eh? Total and utter anarchy. Road bike on gravel. Fancy wheels on gravel. Very fancy wheels. I should tell you more about them, but I've, I've sort of making my emotions about them felt while I ride. Like that day down to Bald Hill in the in the Uber wind. I don't know. Is it Uber wind? In really strong wind. Sorry, Germans, if I stuffed up your language there. Um, I'd show you the buildings, but they they're not worth showing. Not nothing. Here's a truck. I don't think there's done any wind tunnel testing on that thing at all. Anyway, neither here nor there. It's just petrol being burned, isn't it? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Now what? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna, yeah, tourist in my town. I wasn't gonna do this, had no plans. Actually, I hadn't worked out where I was going. And clearly, because I'm just working it out while I write, while I talk to you. To be clear, there is a green. And to be clear, oh. So in Sydney, the pedestrian green in some locations where it's like, you know, really dangerous because uh, so they give the pedestrian a little bit of a leeway, like a beep, 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 and then afterwards, then the motorists can go. And there you go, but you know that. Anyway, who cares? You know why I showed you that discarded wheelbarrow? Because it looks like, well, if, if you just rode here, you'd be thinking, what a shithole. Yeah, it looks like it, but hold the bus, okay? Just wait a second, because, oh, hang on. Hang on, see what we can do here. There's stairs that way. A lift. Oh, I stuffed that up a little bit, but bear with me. I'm gonna reveal something. I don't know where that goes. But uh, if I was on a mountain bike, I'd just bang on down, but I'm not, I'm on a roadie. So let's just uh, keep that theme alive. Yeah, okay, let's have a look here. I have to unclip just then. Get past the, what are they called? Edward Scissorhands or something. Here, do you need a washing machine? So if you do, just come here. So. You're getting that image, like it's basically a long forgotten part of Sydney. Oh, oh, I just, I'm not joking. As I was about to talk about the birds, a rat literally went up the drain pipe right then, right in front of me. I almost filmed it. Oh, that would have just been really good for the whole narrative today, but I missed it. Okay, magical mystery tour continues. So this is poor, what would they call it now? Piermont, maybe Piermont, something like that. Oh. Isn't that not lovely? Wow. 
truth be told, never in my life have I ridden here, ever, 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 ever. I got slightly ahead of myself. I thought I was a little bit further west than I was, but hang on, hang in there, and I'll, you'll see that there is a punchline, okay? Hang on, bear with me. So that's part of the narrative for today, part of the theme. Changed traffic conditions ahead. I've got a green, which allows me to go. You know the drill, right? Red, stop, orange, slow down. In other countries, that's what it means. In Australia, orange or amber means speed the fuck up. Oh, speed up. But I did that once in France and I had three people in the car with me and all of them yelled at me. said, what are you doing? So, little tip, in Australia, maybe we could adopt the habits of French motorists and actually use the amber as a, hey, slow down, better, better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, misturned. But, I was sort of gonna spoil my surprise. Well, wow. that's a public school. I've never seen that before. Have a look at this. You ready? And de toi. So, that's a flag report like I've not done before, which is to say, actually I can't see it now, and that's a, a, a jacaranda. I said I wasn't gonna swear, but those things make me wanna say, <clears throat> oh, I won't, but I, they do make me wanna say something that's not terribly complimentary. Anyway, let's continue this magical mystery tour. Wow, that. Oh, that's more than a wall to me. That's. Oh. Sandstone's lovely, so I could. Oh, look at that. Bet you weren't expecting that, because if you were, you're bloody doing well, because I'm riding here and I wasn't expecting that. So should I continue about the sandstone? Look at this. Like, I feel like stopping and just... <laughs> so you know why so many buildings in Sydney in the early days were made of sandstone? Okay. I began this morning with the premise of exercise, but now I'm suddenly just a tourist. So, let's have a look. Pink. Oh. For the record, never been in this lift, never knew it existed. But I am curious where it's gonna lead, so bear with me. I was just down there. Well, I can't ride hard holding the stem, that's stupid. So I grabbed the handlebars instead. Wow, I have never in my life been here, ever. Hello, puppy. Hello, how are you? You're a good looking dog and you look quite friendly. Oh, there's two, uh-oh. Are they all right? They look a little bit like Cujo. They look like, they look like mini Cujos, but no, they, they seem quite friendly. They've, uh, they've, they've puppies still. Oh, okay, okay. They're six months old. So All right. They have plenty of manners to learn. <laughs> okay. And what are they like? Uh... American stuffies. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. right. Well, they. I was pretty calm. My kids would have freaked out royally yeah, just then. Yeah. Well, this is fun. I just got attacked by two American staffies. Oh, not attacked, but I do have a bit of blood, but what's that between friends, you know? Um, I was just riding my bike. They decided to come up and jump all over me and pant and slobber and, and scratch the shit out of my leg, but that's all right. 
Um, now I'm here, shall we see? Looks promising, but it also looks like it's gonna inevitably end in stairs, but I'm, I'm game if you are. Let's go. Ain't fee three. Oh, look at that blossom. Oh, oh. And? Ha 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 ha. Bike paths of Sydney with Rob, holy shit. How good is that? Ha. Seek and ye shall find, is that what they say? Oh, here I am again. So I've been there, done that. I don't need to show you the sandstone wall again. I know it exists now, but there you go. That's a little deviation. That's a ripper bike path to absolutely nowhere, like a, a destination unknown. That was a big surprise. That was nice, wasn't it? I like that. But I wouldn't say I'm having a serious workout. Neither here nor there. Let's go left. Oh, I know where I am now. Okay, 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 okay. So it's all coming together. Oh, yes, I do know where, I, oh, do I? Yes, I do. I know exactly where I am now. All right, so there's a swimming pool behind me. Really nice swimming pool. Check this road out. They come and shoot all the uh, car ads just around here. How do I know that about the cars? Because we used to ride here, father and kids. And on that stretch of road, just there, I'm, I'm nodding, but I'm pointing the camera, just there behind me now. Unclipping again to take that tight turn. Just behind me there. We have seen Lexus ads being shot. We've seen Jeep ads being shot. We've seen ads for other cars being shot, but I've forgotten all the brands. And now I'm looking at, <laughs> Okay, don't be fooled, like there's a big container and a whole lot of rubbish, but I'll tell you a funny story about right here. This is a true story, you'll love it. Actually, I love it. Hang on. I'm just gonna check the sound because I'd be really upset if this isn't recording. Oh, look at that. That is the best looking dog in the world. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we used to own boxes, so, you know. Um, okay, so that stretch of water just there. We came around that corner that I just came from, not that long ago. Here's a dude fishing for oysters. What's he doing? I think he's picking up rubbish, isn't that nice of him? So, back to the bloody stretch of water there, Robert. What's the story? So, we came there and we saw this commotion on the water, like the other day from the Harbour Bridge that I showed you with all the, um, what are they called, seagulls. Just, just going crazy on salmon, I think. I wasn't down close enough to the water to tell you the actual, actual fish species, but these salmon, there are salmon in the harbour. And the seagulls were going nuts just there behind me, yonder. And it was like a, 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 like a washing machine, just like the water was bubbling and it was alive with birds and fish. And then anyway, we came around here, which is just where I'm going now. Just there. That's Pirama Park. And, um, true story. And we were playing on this, in this park. Just beyond that guy window here. Um, just there. We were, we were playing over there. And someone who lived up there had come down and we were saying, wow, we just saw all these birds and fish and stuff. And he said, yeah, I looked from my apartment and there was a giant bull shark and that's what was freaking the fish out, bringing them to the surface and bringing the birds down. And, and anyway, there you go. Whole lot of species coming together for a feast in the harbour. Anyway, we used to come here all the time. We call this the L. Maybe you can figure it out. Anyway, neither here nor there. So this is part of what we used to call the usual because we, it was the usual uh, Saturday and Sunday ride. So you'll figure out why we called it the L. It's a shit low tide, unfortunately, because in a high tide, that's quite pretty. I've seen the water come over that. That little landing, the L-shaped landing um, in a high tide, but it's, it's not today. 
and we're sort of crescent moon now we've gone past full and um there used to be a rope wow attacking pigeons attack pigeons um where was the rope it used to hang there and you, people must have swung into the harbour i wouldn't not here, not with bull sharks. I just told the bull shark story. Would you go? Anyway, you understand the point. Took Nathan Hass here once. He's a nice guy. But, <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna just round out this long rant early in the morning before my ride has even really begun and say, yeah, so we took Nathan Hass here one time. When my little one was probably, hmm, he just started riding, so it was like four or five. And we used to do this right, him on his little tiny little 8 inch, uh, we 8 inch, 18 inch wheel BMX bike, a little micro GT. And we came out to the lookout here, and Nathan was mucking around and he picked up my youngest and gestured to throw him over the edge. Far out. I like Nathan, but I, I didn't like him right at that moment. That was just, it was terrifying. So uh, my, my youngest screamed. And I was just like, what are you doing? Like that. And then he brought him back in and we all go, ha, 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 that was funny. But Nathan, just for the record, that still frightened the shit out of me. It's true. Okay. I'm not gonna take, uh, I'm not gonna take you up to that turnaround. There's no need, there's a dude catching fish. And um, I'm not gonna, uh, so anyway, there I am on my usual, I used to, bump into Paul Craig over there, hang on, there's coffee shops there and there, and Paul Craig lives nearby, he's a good mate of mine, super duper unreal, um, podium finisher, was he second or third in the Nationals, I think it was third in the Nationals in 2000 and what year was that Paul, 2005, anyway, he's a terrific bloke, he now does, uh, owns a company called Total Ability, I'll put the links down below and you can see some of the amazing stuff that he's doing now. Anyway, it's become a genuine tourist in my town early beginning. I didn't mean that, sorry. There's a boat here. Oh no, the kids are gonna be devastated. There's traditionally a boat here called Poppy. And um, it was an old, I think it was an old ferry. Anyway, that was beautifully renovated. And it used to be more just there. Oh, and now it's gone. I don't know if I'll be able to tell the kids that we, we, Poppy was a highlight of the usual. We used to just come here, our pops is there, everything's good again. It was a timber boat. Oh God, it was beautiful. And then one time we came down and we were meandering by and on the bikes and uh, there was someone cleaning it and we said, wow, we love that boat. And he said, do you want to have a look? And we were like, damn, hell yeah, that'd be terrific. Anyway, good day fellas. And, um, oh look, bollards. Those bollards are new. Okay, I'm talking long enough so that you can see this little vista. Well, it's not a little vista, it's a bloody grand view. You ready? Un, deux, trois. <laughs> Star City, a uh, rotten casino. My city, Sydney. Um, and so pretty much ends the um, magical mystery tour of Piedmont on a Wednesday morning. Went there once, only once, and it was for a book launch. I wrote a book once about a bike rider. And um, we went and talked to a big crowd in that building. And that was that. Anyway, don't want to talk about that. That was a bad experience. And then, as if by magic, I'm back in my usual haunt. Hey, I've done this a thousand times. 